13 days ago, 19-year-old Renisha McBride was involved in a car accident in Detroit. At the accident scene, witnesses reported that she was bloodied, disoriented, and appeared to be confused. She left the scene on foot. Hours later, her lifeless body was found by the police near the porch of a Dearborn Heights home. She was found with a very large gunshot wound to her face. It's alleged that she was shot to death by the homeowner after she knocked on his locked front screen door. By all reports, she was unarmed and there were no signs of forced entry to the home. Today, I'm announcing the following three charges against 54-year-old Theodore Paul Wafer, W-A-F-E-R, the Dearborn Heights homeowner. Murder in the second degree, which carries a penalty of any term of years up to life in prison, is the first count. The second count is a manslaughter charge, death by a weapon aimed with intention without malice, which carries a statutory maximum penalty of 15 years in prison. And the third and final count is possession of a firearm during the attempt to commission or commission of a felony, which is a mandatory two-year term which must be served prior to any time being served on any other convicted offense. We obviously do not feel that the evidence in this case feels that the defendant acted in lawful self-defense. There is no duty to retreat when you're in your own house. But someone who claims self-defense must have an honest and reasonable belief of imminent death or imminent great bodily harm to himself or another person. And the use of force is necessary to prevent that imminent death or imminent great bodily harm to himself or another person.